Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. How are you guys doing today? How are you guys doing today? Hey, this is Gregory Wiles coming live to you from Houston, Texas, with this inspirational morning talk, man. For first time listeners, I'm on at 8.45 a.m. at Central Time. That's our time here in Houston. And we... Um, and then you can calculate which time zone you're in, man. But yes, the goal is it's just to give you something inspirational, something positive uh, for you to listen the day. Because you could go through a whole day and just bombarded by the negativity in this world. So I just want to give you something a little positive to hold on. And whether you listen to it to be now, at the beginning of your day, or midday, or at the end of your day, whenever you get time, it's just to strike that balance. This is just my contribution the society. All right, so here today what I want to talk about today what I want to talk about a simple a simple scripture here that a lot of people know. And I can get too biblical today. I can use all life examples with this scripture meaning, right? Um so it's it's Hosea 4 and 6, it's Hosea 4 and 6. Hosea 4 and 6. It said my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. And it went on to say, because you have rejected knowledge, I also reject you as my priests. Because you ignore the law of your God, I also will ignore your children. Right? He's talking about this, all these laws he have here, all these promises. We don't know because we didn't read it. And um, we've been destroyed. We, we, we being, um, good morning, Jillian. Good morning. How are you doing today? All right. So he's saying we're being destroyed because we lack in this knowledge, all this stuff in this uh, Bible we're not reading, um, a lot of problems we're getting in, a lot of issues we're facing. And, and it's just because we lack in the knowledge, right? But I didn't get too biblical today. I want to use everyday um, everyday examples, what he means by this. And then it might urge you to go on and, 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 and seek the biblical knowledge you need, right? Let I heard this story that best explain this, um, this explain this. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge, right? My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. I heard this story. This couple had one cruise. All expenses paid, cruise, they wanted elderly up like uh, just around the 50 mark there, late 40s, 50s, the one this cruise, all expenses paid. And uh, they come for the cruise, they're all excited, oh God is good, good is God, and they're all excited about it. On the way to the on the way to the cruise, they stop at Walmart to buy some crackers and cheese. There's a seven day cruise, enough crackers and cheese to last them seven days. They gone on the cruise. They're so excited to get a nice fancy cruise ship and they gone in the cabin. They had an ocean view cabin for the people who cruise. There's one of the outer cabins where they got a little hole there, what is you know, window where you can see outside the cabin and there they what a beautiful view and they oh, God is good. We never want nothing like this. this and they're so excited and they're in the cabin right there and then the time come to pull out the little crackers and cheese and they had the little crackers with the little soda to carry a couple of cans of soda and they're just praising and thanking God and ship um, left the port and they're looking out and you know and the oh just thanking God in the cabin day one day two they're still in the cabin and they're just eating the crackers and cheese um you know, every meal period, they ration it out and they're just praising God. Oh, he's so good to them. And, and they get to win a cruise and they've never been on. They're looking out in the water. Okay, look at the nice little water there. Look at the nice view we see from true. Oh, God is so good. And the room, the people who clean the room come knocking in the room and say, no, no, we don't want anything. We're good. We're good. We don't want anything. God is good already. We don't want anything. And then it going on. The people at dinner saying, man, there's two people here. We didn't see them showing up for dinner. What's going on? And the word going around because, um, you know, no one's seen them. So they brought it to the captain's attention. The captain said, okay, you hear them talking in there. When the guy goes to knock the room, he said, okay, let's give them another day. Day five, day six come. Then the captain of the seven days said, now I got to go and check and see if these people are okay. 
you know, if these people, okay, no one see them for the cruise, I got to just go make sure I see if they're okay. So he go, he knock on the door, so who this? He says, the captain, I have to talk to you guys. They open the door, oh, captain, you're such a good man. Thank you. You did such a good job, and we enjoyed this cruise. And, and the captain said, yeah, captain, say, I'll leave the captain. No, 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 we didn't leave the captain. He said, I'll go to the buffets. Yeah, I'll look, enjoy the entertainment on the ship. Oh, no, 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 we can't afford that. We can't afford that, you know. We, we just thank God, you know. We're on the cruise. We, we're happy. We can't afford any of those stuff. He said, say, I'll leave the cabin at all. Walk around the ship. Oh, no, 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 no. That we, 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 we can't afford that. We don't have, you know, we barely won this cruise. And we're thankful to God. So the captain said, so you didn't know. Didn't know what captain didn't know. He says, so you guys did not know. He said, no, what captain? He says, so you guys did not know. Number one, once you buy a ticket for a cruise ship, all the, the meals, good morning, Karen, good morning, cuz, how are you doing? It's Karen Belgrave, good morning. He said, um, you didn't know that on a cruise ship, all the food and the entertainment is free. And, 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 and the ticket that you won comes with, comes with extra. The ticket that you won comes with free spa treatments. It comes with the free tours. And everything else is available to you for free with guided tours on the islands. The ticket that you won came with all of that. And you lock up in your cabin for seven days eating crackers and cheese because you lack the knowledge, guys. See what I tell you? I ain't going, I, I, I ain't going biblical today. We're talking about Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. So this couple go on a cruise that had everything available to them, free food, in, 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 in different restaurants. They had entertainment available to them free. They had guided tours on the islands that they're going, free spa packages. They can get massages, facial, nails, whatever they pedicure, manicure, done free. But they lock up in the cabin because they never did read. They never did find out the ticket that they won for the cruise, all what it comes with. And they lock up in the cabin, eating, eating Walmart crackers and cheese for seven days. Guys, you see how that look? That's what God's saying. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. He said, I got so much of promises, so much of things. Your life could be so much easy if we take time to read this Bible and find out what's going on in it and all the promises you're making, right? So, next example. You could be in a house full of food. And starve to death. You could be in a house full of food and starve to death. You can go and check the, the refrigerator and the cabinets. You see no food in it. You say, okay, there's no food in here. I can just starve. Not knowing in the basement is where to keep the food. Not knowing they got a room in the different part of the house where to keep the food. You didn't ask. You don't find out nothing. You just accept. Go to the refrigerator. It's empty. Go to the, the cupboards. It's empty. And it's a reason why they're empty. You never find out why they're empty. And if there's any food in the house, but you just accept it and you starve to death in a house full of food, right? Lacking knowledge. And you didn't find out. You didn't ask. Right? So guys, that's how it looked like in everyday life when God's saying, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Right? They got these little laws that we need to find out from, right? The law of the tongue, Right? Death and life is in the power of the tongue. And those that love it will eat the fruit thereof. We don't even know the things we're saying. We're causing issues on ourselves by the words that we're saying. We put in curses on our kids. We put in curses on ourselves by the things we are saying. And we don't know that. We don't know that. Why, why I ain't getting a breakthrough? Why this happening to my child? Because every day you keep telling them how they can go to jail. And they're going to they can be a whore. And they're going to be this. And they're going to be that. And when it turns out, what the law says, you will eat the fruit of what you're saying, right? So simple like that. So uh, next what I want to point out here, guys, this is just a little tip. I shared this with my people in my Bible study last night. All the U.S. citizens, anyone you know, know about the, the, the S-T-E-P, the STEP program, the STEP program, it's, it's called the Smart Traveler Enrollment Program, Smart Traveler Enrollment Program. 
Um, it's a free it's a free service to allow U.S. citizens and nationals traveling traveling and living abroad to enroll in their trip with the nearest U.S. embassy or consulate. Right. So you go in. They got this website where you go in. You you go on there. You put you tell the put in the system where you're going, how long you're going to be there. They can access some contact information and all of that. Right. And here was the benefits of it. Here, why is your purpose and the benefits of it? It said, number one, if you receive, you will receive important information from the embassy about the safety conditions in your destination country, help you to make informed decisions about your travel plans. So, anything going on in the country where you are, the United States, the embassy, the government is going to alert you as to what's going on. If there's anything happening, they can come and get you out right away. If there's any unrest in the country, anything going on, they're going to they make sure they're keeping an eye out for you and protecting you even though you're out of the country, right? The next, the next benefit, it helped the U.S. Embassy contact you in emergency, whether natural disaster, civil unrest, or family emergency, anything happen, they know where you are, they contact you right away. Hey, this is what's going on in the country. We come and we send in a taxi for you, whatever. We're getting you out to this place quickly. All right. Next thing, it helped it help family and friends get in touch with you in case of an emergency. So if it's an emergency in that country, right away, the embassy could get your friends and your family in contact with you. They got to know where you are. Even if your cell phone down or not, they can have you in a safe place already where you can still contact. So this is a benefit. Again, we perish for the lack of knowledge. Some people may not know this and some people using it, but I'm sure a whole bunch of people don't know it. And we're traveling without the protection of our government when all of this is a free program afforded to us. Again, lacking knowledge, right? Hosea 4 and 6, my people are destroyed for they lack knowledge. And here what they call the program, as I point out to my folks, it called the Smart Traveler Enrollment Program. Smart traveler. So if you're not doing this, they're actually telling you you're what? You're a dumb traveler then. It's if you're not taking this protection that's free available to you, you're a dumb traveler. That's what they're saying. Right, guys? So I'll tell you, I ain't going to go too biblical on this law here today. I just want to give everyday examples of how this law applies to our life in every day, how this looks. And the same thing he's saying Guys, in this Bible here, if you read it, take time to read it. Unlike those people on the cruise ship that won the ticket, they didn't ask no question. They didn't read. They didn't find out how the ticket come from. They lock up in a room eating Walmart crackers and cheese when they had the people who cruise. I know Karen on here. I know Jillian on here right now that cruise. You understand how, 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 how foolish that song, right? Just imagine somebody on a ship there. Lock up eating Walmart crackers and cheese and all this food on the ship available to them because they did not know and they're afraid to come out because they tell us that they can't afford it. Right, guys? So I'm going to leave that there. That's how this law look in everyday life. Let's find out. Let's read. Let's ask what's the benefits available to us in any situation on our job. We go on our job. Let's find out what's the benefit available to you as an employee. Find out all your benefits. Alan Dwayne, good morning, good morning. Find out all the benefits that are available to you. As a regular citizen of any country you live in, find out what's the benefits available to you as a citizen. Right? Anywhere you go, any organization you're in, make sure you find out what's the benefits available to you as either a member, a citizen, an employee, whatever the case may be. Because you don't want to perish because you lack knowledge, right? You lack knowledge, right, guys? So I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to leave that there, man. But, um, yes, this is a great law, and this is how it looks. Like I said, I don't want to go too biblical today. Everyday example is going to bring out what God is talking about with this law. Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for they lack knowledge. All right, guys, have a great day, and we'll talk again on Friday. Goodbye.